So welcome back to PVZ1. I did a whoopsie. No, I didn't soil myself. I sort of carried on playing the adventure and then realized that I wasn't filming. It's not a big deal. I've only missed one level and honestly, nothing exciting really happened. We were on level 3-3. Three, three. Now we're on level 3-4. I also tried out this little feature as well, the little zombatar, make your own zombie thing. I, I mean, I think I nailed it. I'm not being funny. I think that's spot on. Anyway, let's uh, let's carry on. Uh, yeah, so what happened in the level that I missed? We've now got these guys with snorkels. Snorkel zombie. I didn't actually realize that I could click on these and just kind of look at them. Submerges to avoid attacks. Yeah, what you have to do with these guys is you, you have to put a lily pad in the pool to basically force them to come up and eat it and then you can attack them or you can just cherry bomb. I've got this thing as well, the tangle kelp. I haven't actually had a chance to use it yet. I presume it's just a kind of water-based potato mine. I will try it out. I haven't actually used the three-peater yet. I want to try this as well. So we'll go sunflower, lily pad, three-peater, potato mine, Tangle Kelp. See, here's my problem. I'm committing to quite an expensive card here. Do I want to just kind of... Do I want to do that? Do I want to make that commitment? I mean, if the waves run, I tell you what, I'm going to I'm gonna play it. We'll go Cherry Bomb. Because what I've been kind of doing to this point, what I found you can do is early on in the level, they're not going to send like an entire wave at you. They will just send like the odd brown coat here and there. So when they do that, you can kind of get away with just putting potato mines down. But like, is that... At what point does that stop? Like, at what point can I not get away with that anymore? See, so they're sending one already. So I'm already going to have to stick one down there and get sunflower. I'm just going to have to build these sunflowers up quick. I might even go for one row of sunflowers and then see if I can get a couple of three peters down. Because these attack in three different lanes. So you'd think in theory... If I can have one either side of the pool, then that should cover every lane. Let me stick with this row of sunflowers that I've got here and see if we can make this work for now. Just hear me out. I've got an idea. Okay, so I can put the first one. I'm going to put it there. So yeah, he can attack in all three of those lanes. And then if I put one the other side of the pool, then that should be all six lanes covered, at least for now. And then I can focus on getting the next layer of sunflowers. Genius strategy, mate. Telling you what. Man's out here with the galaxy brain. Is he going to kill that in time? No, he did not kill that in time. Uh, well, we've immediately got problems then, haven't we? Genius strategy, mate. I'm gonna have to bomb him. Uh, well, what am I gonna do now? I'm not gonna be able to get another three Peter in time, I don't think. Or am I gonna be able to get one? I don't know. I might actually, I desperately need to get another three Peter, like right now. I've not played this well. Potato mine there. I, yeah, that might not, that might not cut it, to be completely honest. I don't think it's gonna cut it. I'm gonna have to put another sunflower down here. No, I've played this so bad. Genius strategy, mate. Yeah, this strategy has backfired hardcore. I'm about to lose two of my lawnmowers. Yeah, I've played this so bad. What was I thinking? Just blow this guy up, honestly. I might have to, I might have to take an L on this one. I'm gonna have to like figure out a way that I can improvise this. Let me just try and get some sunflowers down. That's it. Thank you. I really needed that. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Just what I wanted to hear. Wait, that's the zombie that I created. What the hell? You can't just send me after me. Now, nah, wait a minute. Put that there. Oh my god. I missed the... I missed the pole vaulter. I'm so bad. Literally, how did I cock that up? Do you man mind if I just kind of restarted the level? <laughs> I actually lost. I actually lost. Genius strategy, mate. Wait, they're gonna make me do this with the same setup? Okay, would well, you know what? Three Peter, you're fired. We're gonna go back to the old setup. Sunflower, lily pad, cherry bomb, potato mine, three Peter, squash. This is the setup. This is the one that I can put my faith in, I feel. God, I hope I'm not the only one who's died on this level. There are a lot of things that I've done on this channel that I'm never gonna live down as it is. I could do without adding to that list. I'm gonna level with you, this pole vaulter. Just, he vaulted over it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Bitch, you ain't vaulting over that. Get the second repeater down there so this one can definitely die. Yeah, thank you. See, this is the thing. Having two repeaters there is the equivalent of having four pea shooters. Like, you're just, you're actually just not even getting through that. I swear down, mate. Repeater is my favorite card. 110% is my favorite card in this game. So they're sending me again. I have to double up the defense then. So here comes the snorkel. So all I have to do with this guy, just stick a lily pad like there. He's going to have to come up, and then the repeaters go to town. Oh, wait, what? He got through that? Uh, no. Put another one down. Maybe I'll just put, like, a line of lily pads there, so they have to... 
like chew through all of it before they can get to me. If you get through this, I dare you. The only thing I really have to be on my guard for is the snorkel guys. Although to be fair, they got three different repeaters they got to get through. Like they're going to get blasted. Is that car key? Okay. Crazy Dave's car key. You can now visit Crazy Dave. Oh, okay. You have a shop, you say? You found my car key. You know what that means. Crazy Dave's Twiddy Dinkles is open for business. Ah, you see, I can buy flipping... I can buy plants. This is why I saved up my money. So I can still pay the 750 for an extra slot. Pool cleaners add an extra line of defense on levels with a pool. Garden rake takes out the first zombie that steps on it. Last for three levels. I feel like I want to get one of these. Gatling peas shoot four peas at a time. So they're twice as powerful as repeaters. And then we got twin sunflowers as well. Funny thing about the zombie process, sometimes it makes them come out real little. Oh god, have we got imps? We're, we haven't got... The hell? What's going on here? Am I playing bowling or... I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the gimmick with having them be this small. I, you tell me. I mean, it's nice that I can just kind of blow him up. No, oh, it's a mini all-star. Blow him up. Thought I wasn't going to get him then. Am I Am I doing it right? Or Dude, Some of these levels are so confusing. At least we've now got a pea shooter in each lane. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Mm. Same on this side. Mm. Oh, I wanted to get that second all-star. Get them both. That's it. like to think we're pretty well defended here. I'll tell you what, let them all pour in. Let them all pour in. Then I'll just go bang. Bang. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, got chili. Destroys an entire lane of zombies. Why is this guy on a Zamboni? Which one do I buy first? Do I buy the pea gatling or do I buy the twin sunflower? Oh man, I don't know. Oh, this is like trying to choose between siblings. Neither. I hate them all equally. Twin sunflower. Either way, I think we're probably going to pick it up from here. So I lost. There you go. It finally happened. May have been the first time, but I'm sure it probably won't be the last.